What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy Paul Rome here with my guy Batty Bill. Touch on a few things real quick. Um, Batty, what's good, man? What's popping? We're gonna get into a few things now. There was a, a um over the weekend, it was a jeweler out of Chicago. You know, say I don't know if Duke the jeweler or Duke 093, something like that on Instagram, but he was you know, doing jewelry in Chicago, Chicago jeweler, right? And um mm-hmm. he was out in Houston. Now, I don't know exactly what reason he was out there, out there, but at the time, on the day that the, the situation I'm talking about took place, he was at like a, a little Boosie concert. So, you know, I guess you know at concerts, they got the whole backstage area, and that's where I guess, you know, people doing what they're doing, they're smoking their weed, drinking their liquor, rolling dice, whatever, whatever. So he was, um, after the show or whatever, it was like a, some dice game going on. Now, they're saying after the dice game, he was walking to his car. Boosie went on live and actually spoke about the same, the same thing. He went on live and he ended up losing his life. Now, remember we spoke about on the live last week how he was talking about how certain times it was pertaining to like certain females that was into guys making fast money and the jewelry and all that. But we were talking about some people aren't into jewelry because it's a, it gives you a spotlight that everybody isn't comfortable with. That mm-hmm. sometimes too much jewelry or too much flash could cost you your life with some ran- on some, some random dudes or some dudes you never even met before. They just see you shining and they want to come for that. You understand what I'm saying? So. This is what this kind of looking like. You got a couple dollars. Yeah. Now you've seen how heavy the dude was shining. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he, he was, was more than shining. He was glistening. Yeah. So do you chalk it up as he should have been moving with security, being that you a jeweler, you know how you live it? Or do we chalk it up to once again, wrong place, wrong time? Or do we just try to give the youngest something to think about when it comes to, like you said, Glistening, you're not even shining no more. You're glistening, like is anything. Was, was he dolo or was he had his people? Was his people's with him? It looked like he was dolo. So he went to Houston, dolo, heavy, and 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 like I guess he felt comfortable because he was with Boosie or he was Boosie invited him to the show. Or maybe or, Jay, I'm not sure. I just saw she was in the video. Mob tied up. He felt comfortable. Mm-hmm. Or he might have been out there like that before and nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? It could be a precursor to the situation. Because I see people in the comments say, oh, that wouldn't happen to TV Johnny. Why we only do this to ourselves, this, that, and the third. But I don't know if TV Johnny's in there rolling dice. Even though that's not a reason. But it's like, do we got to move? Like, basically, you out of town. Judging from the videos, it looked like you got hundreds of thousands on. Hundreds of thousands on. Then you got bread on you too, because in the video, the video of the dice game, you see him just counting straight hundreds. Yeah. So it looked like, like I said, he was heavy. You know what I'm saying? Now he was heavy. Is it like, like, I, I, you know, people say, oh, only, only broke people take people stuff, or you know, only a clown to take something that isn't theirs, which is true. But it's like we also got to be smart out because it's like we know what type of energy is out there, the type of wolves is out there. Use like a steak in front of a bunch of hungry wolves, 400, 500,000 on. It's like it looked kind of crazy. Like should he have been moved with security, you think, being that he was a professional jeweler? He, he, needed, he should have been moving with somebody. Even if it was like if, if, if I think if, if he was dolo, then he was moving. He was moving totally wrong. But. He might have been felt comfortable because he might have been dolo before in the situation around them same people and nothing happened. Yeah. So he might have been like like I said, it can be a precursor to the situation. You know what I'm saying? But if if he was dolo, he should have been moving like like he should have been at least like with Jay Prince and them was like a something. I don't know, bro. Like yeah, like moving dolo where you you super heavy, you going to dice games. It's promotion for him at the end of the day because he's a jeweler, but it's still like, you understand? But like it's it's like that's bad. That's bad. Like bad promotion, right? Like bad. Like that's bad. That's bad movements. Bad planning. It's like if you if you from the streets, bro, and you heavy like that. If I'm heavy like that, bro, I got there's somebody with me, bro. Well, I, I got it myself at least. Like let's look, look. Like look at the robbery. That took place with the over the twenty bands. That's twenty thousand. Correct. You know what I'm saying that they did that for. Like he got like a hundred on his neck. Yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He got a hundred on his neck. 
Now, I wouldn't be like the dudes that did pop smoke and sell a watch, a fifty thousand dollar watch for three thousand. Like he got on his neck. I'm either holding or like yo, boom. I mean, like they like whoever robbed them turned the robbery into a homicide, which they probably shouldn't have had to, because he probably would have gave it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like a hundred on his neck, like somebody's coming for that. Honest, and honestly, do you know what's crazy? When you that heavy. They might just come straight shooting just to lay you down and take what they gotta take because they don't say they don't want no resistance when you that heavy. You understand what I'm saying? They might just be coming for yeah, what they they're looking like, oh, they looking at the purse. They yeah, looking at the purse. I, I got, got a hundred K. He shaved them at the dice game. We don't even know how much he shaved them for. So he got a hundred K on his neck. He probably got like 50 on his wrist. Another bag, probably a hundred thousand in cash. If he done killed the dice game, there was that's big money. Nice that's like a, that's like an M. That's like a ticket, a ticket lick. But I, I mean, you turn it into a homicide. That's that's. You know. But that's why it's funny, and I don't want to dive too deep into this. But that's why it's super funny because it's like you got lines, bro. If you, you just yeah, if you just hit the dice game, right? You know you got all that jewelry. You gotta be a little smarter than to just walk out to your car just in front. Like I'm sure you had to, you was thinking about that shit, like trying to move. You know, what I'm saying it's just a weird situation. Like I'm sure more to come out. But like you said, it probably was a line situation or somebody sitting back watching the dice game and just sat back waiting for him to pop out and just caught him going to his car. Son, you thought he was 42, dog. Yeah, or, or, 42 or, be tapped or, in though, where he be rolling dice. Or Stacy show or some shit like. Oh, let me game. tell you this though. Now, is there anything? I'm glad you said the whole thing about pop smoke, even though it's kind of different situations. You can't kind of, you know, you know, um, like compare the two as far as like, can the youngest learn something from this? Like you seen in a pop smoke situation where they ran in that crib, it was just for some cash and jewelry, and they was hoping it was still in there, or for what they did on Instagram, and they ended up killing them over a watch. Now we see this dude was actually had, we know for a fact what he had bread and jewelry on for a fact. Whoever hit um robbed him and killed him actually made off with something allegedly. Now, is there anything that the youngest can learn about having all this jewelry on? Like, and just that's the thing now. All these bitch, all these females want niggas that's shining, getting with some motion. You know, that's the new thing. You gotta have some motion out there. And so these young boys want to be out there, shine, roll it up, Cartier, bust down Cuban. You understand what I'm saying now? Can they learn something from situations like this? Pop smoke, the jewelry. They, they, they need to not get blinded by the light, man. Don't get blinded by the light, bro. That's all I can say. They blinded by the light, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the light, the light will blind you, and, and you won't see. You, your third eye ain't open, so you can't see what you get. You ain't aware of what you're surrounding, what's happening around you. You know what I'm saying? They blinded by the light that they perceiving from the material wealth that they got. That shit come and go. You know what I'm saying? You can lose it and get it back again. Don't get blinded by the light, though. That's all I could give the youngest is don't get blinded by the light. The light is good to an extent. It comes with its it comes with its pros and it comes with its cons. Or are you are you ready to motherfucking handle the consequences that comes with it? The pros is good. Yeah, I, I might get some ass. I might network and meet another, you know, something, you know, that can, that can add to the add to the cipher. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But are you willing to deal with the cons? Because the cons could 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 end up with your life loss. And I, and I and, 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 and you know, sleep in peace, Chicago Duke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I'm gonna tell the youngest, don't get blinded by the light, man. Yeah. Only thing I can tell them is like that all switch is the motherfucker. Like it's cool to wear your shine. It's cool to be out there shining. It's cool to get that attention. Like all, but just know every time you all that attention you gain from them females, there's also some wolves out there giving you that same attention. But the sad part is you might not be seeing the attention they giving you until it's too late. You understand what I'm saying? So and the females might be rocking you to sleep. Facts. And remember, sometimes it's okay to leave the jewelry home if you're not moving right. If team ain't strong that night, only a few of y'all going out. Only a few of y'all going out of town this trip. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't got to bring it all. You don't got to shine too much. You could just do you. Take it easy. Know when to shine and when to turn it down a little bit, man. You might save your life out here, man. Like like Batty said, rest in peace to, you know, Chicago Duke, Duke the jeweler out of Chicago, man. Sad situation. But um, 
You could learn something from it moving forward. Before you like, like you said, you said like um like how how they be doing like you know doing these kind of things, but like overall, man, the the, the, the like it's so much fucking obstacles out here in these streets, bro. And people is hungry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you always, you got to be on point, bro. You got to be on point. It's game seven every day. 